Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Berlin has its own loop for its employees, and it's absolutely cool. Tesla slowly rolls out FSD beta version 11 for wide release. Tesla rumored to offer new wall connectors. And, Tesla Model Y makes it to the Arctic Ocean, the first EV to do so in dead of winter. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. There are some things that Tesla does that are so out of left field that sometimes it's hard to tell if the company is serious or not. This was definitely the case with a recent marketing video from Giga Berlin, which received quite a bit of attention in social media. The video in question was posted on LinkedIn by Tesla through its official account, with the electric vehicle maker noting that at Giga Berlin, we accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy and now also your way to work. Tesla also included an invitation to interested individuals who wish to work for the company. While marketing videos from Tesla and social media are nothing new, the 23-second clip from Gigafactory Berlin was so unique that it almost looked like it was faked or at least too ridiculous to be true. The short clip showed a Giga Berlin employee donning a Tesla jacket and securing his shoes before getting into a large, elaborate slide. Several shots from the video were taken from within the slide itself, and one cannot deny that it's pretty darn cool. From the clip, one could see that the insides of the slide seemed to be painted and lighted, giving it a similar vibe to the boring company's LVCC and Vegas Loop systems. The slide seemed to exit near Giga Berlin's paint shop, which was decorated with some impressive murals. Automakers are no strangers to implementing unique strategies to engage their employees. The slide is, if any, an actual functional part of the massive electric vehicle plant. That alone deserves some commendation. Plus, Giga Berlin's paint shop is expected to be the company's best, so it makes sense that its employees are treated to something extra. Also, considering all the red tape that Tesla went and continues to go through with Giga Berlin, the electric vehicle maker probably had some fun submitting the necessary permits for its paint shop's elaborate adult-rated slide. Moving to the next update, Tesla slowly rolls out FSD beta version 11 for wide release. Tesla appears to have started slowly rolling out version 11 of the full self-driving beta program recently, just a few days after CEO Elon Musk stated the company would begin releasing it to more vehicles. Tesla's FSD beta version 11.3.1 started to roll out to employees late last year and a select few of the automaker's long-standing testers a few weeks ago. The controlled rollout allows Tesla to monitor its behaviors and tendencies in a highly safe way, as it can determine issues or bugs in a small sample size and fix them before a wider release begins. On March 14, Musk stated that version 11 would start going live this weekend, and we've heard it before. However, it appears the automaker is happy with the early reviews and is starting to release it to more vehicles. Version 11.3.2 is the newest version of the beta and is being rolled out with Tesla Software Update 2022.45.11. According to statistics from Tesla Scope, more vehicles are being updated with the new FSD beta version 11, and more drivers on the Tesla Motors subreddit are beginning to report that they have received the update. Drivers who have experienced the early editions of this rollout have reported that there have been several improvements to highway driving, and inner city street navigation has also been refined and feels more accurate than ever before, which is undoubtedly a step in the right direction. Moving to the next update, Tesla rumored to offer new wall connectors. According to rumors from China, Tesla may offer a new wall connector. This may be a cheaper option with reduced features or a more powerful one. Perhaps two new options will be offered at once. A home charging station is an important part of owning an electric vehicle. While some owners can charge at large charging stations, others prefer to charge their electric vehicles at home, which can be more convenient and economical. That is why Tesla has developed wall connectors to make owning the company's cars even more comfortable. Chris Zhang, 
who is known for his leaks on Tesla, which have later turned out to be true, again shared something interesting. According to his March 4 tweet, the manufacturer may release a new wall connector. It is worth bearing in mind that the tweet does not clearly indicate whether one of the two options described will be released or both of them. Zheng said, it could be a more affordable wall connector that can be purchased by a wide range of consumers. With a lower price, it is suggested to have some differences compared to existing chargers. It is reported that it will lose some of the OTA potential, however, will have low power consumption. This option may be very popular in the Chinese market, where consumers often opt for more affordable wall connector options offered by other companies. Another wall connector that Zheng described is a new generation connector. Perhaps it will be made in the style of Cybertruck. Its total power will be 21 kilowatt. That would make a lot of sense, especially considering that with more powerful cars on offer, Tesla may indeed be aiming to offer more powerful home chargers. In addition, powerful wall connectors can also be installed by large companies and businesses. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model Y makes it to the Arctic Ocean, the first EV to do so in dead of winter. Jonathan Zoes, an aspiring filmmaker, has become the first person to drive an electric vehicle to the Arctic Ocean in minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures of an Arctic winter, and he did it in a Tesla Model Y. Zoes documented his journey driving through Canada to Tuktoy Arctic, relying on the help of strangers to plug in the vehicle once charging stations became harder to find. In an interview with Northern News Services Limited, Zoes stated that finding charging stations was easy in the southern part of his drive. However, as he made his way to Dawson Creek in northern British Columbia, he had to rely on RV parks to keep his vehicle charged. The Yukon Territory has been constructing fast charging stations at an impressive rate, even surpassing the adoption rate of electric vehicles among locals. Consequently, Zoes found most of the charging stations empty after passing Whitehorse. Zoes couldn't always rely on finding public chargers, however. An indigenous council in Prophet River let him use their maintenance building for the night to charge up. To cross the Dempster Highway, which has no gas stations for more than 300 kilometers, he befriended road crews who let him use their garages. In Fort McPherson, he was able to get another charge from LJ's contracting. To travel the Inuvik Tuktoyak Yuk Highway, he improvised a charging station. By utilizing the Tesla mobile app, Zoes calculates that he managed to save $463 in fuel expenses during his month-long journey to Inuvik. His only expenses were the costs for food and electric charges paid to his hosts. In comparison, covering the same distance with a gasoline-powered car would have set him back $701. Additionally, Zoes enjoyed the benefit of sleeping in the warmth of his car for most of the nights, except for one night spent in Eagle Plains. Zoes stated that the technology works and will only get better, and he hopes his trip helps to inspire others to take a chance on EVs and to push for more charging infrastructure in remote areas. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.